Hi guys, it's your girl Sarah from Beauty by Chick. Today I just wanted to do a quick updated video and it is on this piercing that is up here. I know I did a video on this and I it was like five tips on how to heal your piercing faster, but I just wanted to do a quick um, up, updated video on that because I know some people were, were explaining in the comment section down below that um, these kind of piercings take forever to heal and yada yada and and that is so true so that's why I felt the need to do a little mini updated video first of all like I do know that these piercings take a long time to heal but my my five tips were only to help you try to heal it, it like as fast as it will go in you know however long it takes if that makes any sense <laughs> so I did mention that using antibacterial soap really does help uh, the process heal and I'm not gonna lie guys it has helped me tremendously it did in the first portion then I stopped using it because my I felt, you know I knew my piercing wasn't completely healed but it wasn't in the state where it was like oh it gets really hurting but every now and again my ears do something like this I'm gonna show you don't get grossed out but every time every now and again it does something like this you can see that my piercing is slightly infected yeah, and a few days ago it was like three times that size except it was except it was red and big and inflamed and full of pus. It's gross, I know. But that was the case, right? So it was like three nights ago when I discovered that it was infected. I knew like you can feel when your piercing is getting infected. You can feel when it's kind of sore. And the reason being why mine gets infected is because my natural hair is very curly. It tends to get stuck around the piercing uh, on the back knob a lot. And I go to yank my my hair up and it pulls on it and all sorts of crazy stuff. Also, products. Whenever I use products, it gets um, build up. It builds up around it. And just any kind of residue will create a film around the piercing. So that's what happened to mine. And as a result of it, it became inflamed and infected like this. So I went back to my handy dandy antibacterial soap, pumped, uh... I just, all I do is run a Q-tip underwater so it's damp, put a little bit of soap so it can lather, and then I basically, this is already wet, I already did it on here, but then I go like this around my piercing. I use my other hand to assist me sometimes, so that way I can push the piercing from back here to the front. Go like this and clean around the area. So the front part is never the problem because I don't do anything with the front, it's the back that I know that tends to get hooked with hooked um, on my hair. So then you want to push it back, bend your ear, yes it's kind of awkward, but you want to kind of clean around it like this, just to help keep the area clean and it looks kind of dirty and if there's any um, dry skin that will come as a result of, uh, I don't know, like the the infection kind of drying up or whatever you just kind of rinse it off I never reuse the side of the q-tip because you're trying to minimize the infection you're not trying to spread it so I use one area to clean it then I do it again I dab I will wet this section do the same thing and then I'll just I'll discard this clean this q-tip and get a brand new one and I will utilize both ends one side well I'll just use to, to clean up the soap the next side I'll use it to just clean it up again so it's good to just practice these um, methods because you don't want to spread germs from one piercing to the next and that's a different subject really so I'm not gonna get sidetracked because I can do sometimes <laughs> I can do that sometimes but um, my suggestion last time like I was saying it's not to state that these piercings heal really quick because I know they don't I have had mine done for about maybe six months now and it's done pretty well like there are times when it's perfectly fine and then there are times when my hair is just yanked on it so many times and I, I'm like okay I know my piercing is gonna get infected just because it's I handle it kind of rough at times but I always just revert to this I don't use this soap for anything else I'm not promoting this soap and this brand by any means <laughs> but yeah it really does work in helping your piercing heal so take my word for it guys try it rubbing alcohol and the typical stuff that they 
give to you when you pierce your ears those things kind of dry out your piercing and so that's why he recommends that you use antibacterial soap and it makes sense a antibacterial soap to me it just cuts right to the chase and it just kills the germs that's what it did with this baby it was big and inflamed and I should have taken a picture I thought about it in the moment but I didn't think I was officially gonna make a video on this so I um yeah I didn't end up doing that but trust me when I say this thing was it was huge it was like the size of that nub like when I pushed on this you could barely see any of it. It, it was just only a little tip show, revealed at the end because the, the bump that was filled with pus was so big. You, I've gone through this process several times so I'm kind of used to it and I don't, I don't know, I'm not highly worried. So I just kind of do what works for me and it does work and it's going down and yeah. So trust me when I say it works, try it. If you're getting a new piercing, definitely just stick to that if you are if you have issues with your piercing and it's taking forever to heal, try that. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it to be useful and helpful. And uh, take care, guys. Much love. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And show your girls some love by sharing my videos. Peace, yeah.